ABC 13 Eyewitness News starts now. Now at 4 o'clock on this Monday, we are tracking some storms that are moving through southeast Texas. Chief forecasting area, I will show that to you coming up in just a moment. The most intense activity. The trooper shot his neighbor early this morning through his door at an apartment complex near Minute Maid Park. Now, apartment management tells us that they actually think the victim thought the apartment was his own. We will see you in just a little bit. Right now, though, we've got to get to some breaking news from overnight here at 502. <laughs> a man was taken to the hospital by lifeline. Looking now at your day ahead, congressional lawmakers returning to Capitol Hill to try and hammer out a funding bill to avoid that government shutdown. They have until Saturday to make a deal. And President Joe Biden will join the picket line. Earlier this evening in our 530 newscast, I introduced this graphic to you, painting the picture of the two different scenarios we could see with the rest into our north has been with hail. I'm not surprised with how humid it is and how slow these storms are moving that we could potentially see some hail from some of these showers and storms. But then also thinking about how cyclical we, this rain chances we will be watching here and then moving into Houston between about seven and eight o'clock. So over the next 24 hours, as temperatures drop, rain chances rise. So the first chance for rain tomorrow for most of Southeast Texas is going to be during the morning hours for your morning commute. Lit up. Is it making it to the Houston? Yeah, there's, there's a line of thunderstorms moving right towards Houston, so it does look like most of us in the city will get some much needed rain coming up this evening. And there's a possibility of a strong storm in there as well. Watch out for the lightning is the big key uh, with the storms coming in. Uh, uh, after we get down with this evening storms, we'll still have a lingering 30% chance tomorrow and 20% on Wednesday and Thursday because we're going to have this stationary front in our vicinity and just enough moisture to work with the daytime heating to give us these isolated thunder showers for tomorrow and the, in the days to come. In the meantime, the big thunderstorm in the metro right now is this one over here. It's between Baytown and Kima. Not a huge lightning producer, so we know it's not severe because it's only produced 12 lightning strikes in the last 10 minutes or so, and it's drifting slowly in an eastward direction. ABC 13 Eyewitness News starts now. We begin in three. We're tracking some much needed rain. Our chances improving storms could move in just as you're heading home or heading out for your evening plans. One person in the so I think we are going to see more storms fire up over the next hour and we'll have to monitor those new storms for the potential that they turn severe. We've also seen a healthy thunderstorm in the southeastern part of Harris County from Pasadena to Deer Park LaPorte and Baytown. That's moving out into Galveston Bay. If this line holds together, it looks like it'll just continue straight southeastward right through Galveston County. Your next stop for this line of storms as it moves to the southeast at about 20 miles per hour. And you notice the air over Houston, still lots of mid. Now charged with murdering his wife next to his school picture on the Cleveland ISD website where he works as a special education department chair at Santa Fe Middle School. Last night, police say his wife, Vic ISD, we were sent this statement saying, quote, Anderson has been placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. Investigation. We would like to reiterate that the situation occurred domestically and did not take place on campus. It is that time here at 614. We're taking you on six stops at six, bringing you stories from just outside the loop, beginning with robbery suspects wanted for aggravated assault in Southwest. Live breaking news tonight as a tragic situation unfolds in Kingwood, where a SWAT situation just ended with a woman dead and a man under arrest. We're live with the latest from investigators tonight. And dramatic video of a robber sneaking into a woman's car while she's inside. She's now sharing her story with ABC 13 in hopes of helping others. And storms are on the horizon and they could impact Monday's commute. Meteorologist Elise Smith is timing out the rain. We are live in 30 seconds. ABC 13 Eyewitness News starts now. Hello everyone, breaking right now, a deadly situation unfolding in Kingwood tonight where a woman is dead and a man who was barricaded inside. A family fears that a grandmother missing for two weeks will not be found alive. Search teams in Liberty County are scouring Horseshoe Lake and nearby areas looking for any sign of Cheryl. And breaking news now out of Hollywood, the Writers Guild of America and Hollywood Studios have reached a 10